Man, it feels good to get another win, man. Two and four. Still has been two and four as they defeat the the Los Angeles Chargers, twenty four to seventeen at home. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, at Los Angeles. Uh, I, I really, I mean, you might as well call it home. I mean, I could barely tell the difference just by seeing it and hearing the crowd tonight. Like, you could barely tell the difference. Yeah. Like I mean, that. It's, crowd, it's like it's like every Steelers fan says. A, 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 any game is a home game. Right. Steelers Nation they is just, worldwide. Yeah, they just take over the fucking stadium, man, and it was. No different in Los Angeles. Like, I don't think I saw one Chargers fan in, in, in that in that stadium. I I I'm being completely honest. I All th- I, I saw were terrible towels and yeah, I don't Steelers think I, jerseys. I don't and, think I heard one boo from when the Chargers stopped the Steelers. Yeah, it was in the Chargers stadium. Never in my entire life did I ever hear the home team get booed in their own stadium when yeah. they get the ball back. Yeah. <laughs> Like, like that's insane. There was a loud audible boo when the charge because there was a a, a a a a punt that came down. Desmond King did a fair catch and Justin Lane came over and had interference and there were actually boos when the Chargers got the ball back. I'm like, and this is supposed to be a home game for the Chargers. <laughs> exactly. Like Steelers Nation, man. I love you guys. We love you guys, man. We can be more proud to be part of a, such an incredible, loyal, and and and. and Honestly, indescribable fan base. Exactly. You Organization. Know, just, like, right. It's fantastic. I love being a Steelers fan. Yeah, Despite man. how we have been this season, I'll always be a Steelers fan, right. no matter what. Absolutely. And a shout out to Steelers Nation, man, for just uh, sticking with this team. And season's still alive. I'm going to say that. Season's still alive. We are currently second in the AFC North um, right now. The, uh, of course, the Ravens are number one with us advancing to 2-4. and four. We, uh, we are tied with the Browns for second. And, um, I mean... Season's still alive. I mean, that record, it doesn't really, it doesn't it doesn't resonate with you that, hey, the season's still alive, we can still make the playoffs, but this division has been very weak. Um, so, this is a much-needed win. Right before the bye, right before, you know, or as the Browns lost and everything, so this is a much-needed win, and that's exactly what the Steelers gave us. Um, r- great performance, very solid team performance, man. Um, we were up, what, 21-9 at the end of the first half. We finished 24-17, to so the Steelers were really napping in the second half. They pretty much almost gave the game away. Yeah, they but, got conservative, which I kind of expected because I know the Steelers, and this is what they tend to do. Right, but however, they, they still clocked the game out and uh, got home, uh, uh, and we'll return home with the win right before the bye. So overall, great team performance, man. It was a much-needed win. Much need a bye week as well, man. Right before the bye and everything, you know, we had a ton of injuries. Uh, I, I have a list of injuries. I was writing them down through the game. I mean, these are injuries that happened in this game. We already know the injuries we had prior, you know. Mark Barron, although I ain't going to say shit about that. Steven Nelson. Uh, we had, of course, we all know Mason Rudolph. James Washington and everything. And Jalen Samuels. Samuels. In this game, we had two that had a pectoral injury and didn't return. Uh, I'm hearing it might be severe. Uh, of course, I hope not. He's a, he, he he's on pace to have a breakout year. Right, his but, best but, year but the his thing career. is, it's like every time he tends to have that, he always gets injured. Right. Like, I love Tua. I think he's a monster, but he keeps getting injured. Right. I, I can't stand him not – like every time he gets injured, I just – it's like, yep. Yeah, exactly. Like that. Like Tua, you need to stay healthy. Yeah. You can be a beast. You can have a breakout season, but you need to stay healthy. Seriously. Uh, as well as Devin Bush, he had – I believe – I think it was an ankle injury or something. He had it at, like, at the end of the first half. But he did return, although I feel like it really affected his game because although Devin Bush had a phenomenal game in the first half, he had an interception. He had a fumble cover referring to a touchdown and everything. He looked real good in the, in the rushing defense. Mm-hmm. But in the second half, granted, like I said, it might be due to his injury, but – you can tell he was definitely off. He was missing tackles. He wasn't really there. His angles were bad. So, And that's why the bye is needed, as well as Connor. He had a quad injury. He played through it. But Benny Snell, who had a phenomenal game, stepping in for uh, Jalen Samuels as number two, man. He had, I'm reading the stats here, 17 carries for 75 yards. He was the third stringer last week. Now he's the second stringer because Samuels is out for a he, month. He was the leading rusher for the Steelers in this game. Phenomenal, man. A rookie out of Kentucky in the fourth round, man, coming up from the third string spot to the second string spot and completely breaking out and everything. Phenomenal game from Benny Snell. So I feel like Connor's quad injury, which hopefully isn't severe, because uh, Connor had a phenomenal game as well. Um, he definitely fed off of Connor's injury and just inc- improved his play and everything. Right. And Joe Hayden had a groin injury late in the game. Nothing surprising there with Joe Hayden. He's... I love Joe Hayden. He's our best defensive back, but he has made a glass. But this bye week couldn't come at a better time because of all the injuries and all the minor shit we need to fix. But uh, as for this game, man, 
great performance, solid win from the from the team and everything. Uh, much needed win, uh, like we said. Defense looked great. Defense looked real good. Yeah, let's, let's start with the defense. Defense played phenomenal the entire game. They like they they were they were limiting they limited Keaton Allen. And thank God they didn't put any linebackers on them this yeah, time. Yeah, although there were a few times where we saw him, but that was when Keaton Allen was doing number hitches and, and comebacks and shit like that. So it wasn't really anything, you know, frightening to right, think we, about. Yeah, but, we limited Keenan Allen. We actually limited Mike Williams for the most part. The only guy that we really couldn't stop was Hunter Henry. Yeah, which isn't a surprise. I mean, tight ends have been destroying this defense for freaking years. Yeah, I, um, I don't expect us to defend tight ends because... We can't right. at all. Uh, but we stopped the rushing game massively. We really limited Phillip Rivers and everything. Um, our pass rush was fucking great. I mean, we got, like, maybe, what, one sack? Yeah, one sack. But um, nonetheless, they, but they applied were, constant pressure. Constant, constant, constant fucking pressure, man. Bud Dupree actually had a pretty nice game. TJ Watt's a fucking elite player. He is so fucking incredible. He is just so consistent in the pressure. He may not get there all the time, but, bro, he applies so much pressure, forces the quarterback to make so many mistakes, and mo- most of the time it just leads his teammates to eventually take advantage of the of, of river, of, uh, of, of the whole pressure and, and actually make a play himself. Right. So, it, it's great, you know. As well, like we said, Devin Bush had a great first half. He kind of played a little poor in the second half, but that might be due to injuries and everything. Overall, um, Bush is playing fantastic. He is looking very well yeah. so far. Yeah, and one player that really had a breakout performance and should see playing time in this game or after this game, no doubt, and if Caden or Nelson were to go down, knock on wood, uh, kick kick already burns to the curb. He, he, he still fucking sucks. Yeah, he, uh, he's that's trash. Proven after he, he, is, he is legit burnt toast. Yeah, uh, that that's proven after the night. If one of those two were to go down, don't call up Artie Burns. Call up Cameron fucking Sutton. What a game he had, man. You can just tell from the previous two years, although he was kind of injured in his rookie year, but from last year to this year, it's night and day. He, You can just see his improvement, and it's incredible. It's something that, honestly, I want to say it's a rarity from, the, from Steelers cornerbacks because you look at Steelers cornerbacks in recent years, you see cornerbacks, they're average, they're pretty bad, they get burnt and shit. You don't see no improvement. Cameron Sutton, all he does is improve in everything. In the exactly. rushing game. That, that's, and that's what I love to see. Seriously, in his coverage, and his PBUs, man. He got the game-winning pick at the end of the game and everything. He had a hell of a game. He looked good on special teams as well. Absolute phenomenal game from Cameron Sutton. Seriously, man. like This, guy, this guy's a baller. He just continues to progress. I love seeing that. I am a huge fan of Sutton. I was a huge fan when he came out of college. Yeah. Uh, and, and basically... Throughout the early in the season, he was getting limited reps. He was doing pretty well. Right. When Hayden went out and he came in, he made the most of his reps. Yeah. And that's what I love to see. And he still is, man. You know, he's just he deserves more playing time. Now, hopefully, hopefully we see it, man. Swap in him and Mike Hilton in the slot, which they are currently doing. But you know, um, if like I said, if Hayden or or Nelson were to go down, put him in outside. He, he's not really prone for outside or everything, but his improvement give me more trust than I have. That I have more trust in Sutton than I do Burns. If anything unfortunate were to, were to happen to our top two corners, so Sutton had a great game. Great game for him to step up and everything. Hopefully, he sees more playing time after the bye. Defense had a hell of a game. Uh, they were napping in the second half, almost gave the game away, but uh, you can just tell everyone was tired. Plus, injuries were were affecting the defense. Hayden went out. I believe Watt was out. I didn't see Dupree there. Um, let's see who else was out. Uh, I think uh well, obviously uh, to it. Right, to it was out so you know um, guys our starters obviously you know they were out for basically the rest of the game and when the backups came in you just saw a complete difference. Right, but for the most part defense played phenomenal. They forced turnovers, they applied constant pressure on Rivers, stopped the rushing game and just really helped the offense which we're going to get to now. We're going to start with the rushing game. It was one of the main reasons why we won this game. It was the driving force for our offense for this win was the rushing game. We got to see a lot more of Benny Snell this game, of course, because of Jalen's injury, and he really stepped up. 17 carries, 75 yards, um, plus 14 yards receiving. So that equals 89 total yards of offense from Benny Snell in his first true important game right here. So great performance from Benny Snell to step up. Um, you can just tell, man, he was balling. He, he was. He's just a strong, physical, hard runner. You can tell just by his uniform, man. He likes getting dirty. You know, and he got very, like, his jersey was all fucked up. You see, you saw grass, you saw dirt, you saw turf, you saw green. That's Benny Snell football right there, and I'm glad we saw it. Hopefully we see a little bit more from it. Yeah, seriously, it. that's how he was in Kentucky, and that's how he's going to be in the yeah. Steelers uniform. Even, I love to see that. Absolutely. Even when Jalen Samuels comes back, still insert Benny Snell, man. You know, he's just only going to get better. 
He's a rookie. He's only going to get better, Exactly, man. and that's the scary part. Right. That really is. Um, and then the person that's definitely getting better and is starting to rebound and hopefully continues his rebound is James Conner. He had 119 total yards. He didn't really do much in the rushing game uh, statistically. I mean, he had a great uh, touchdown, rushing touchdown, but he all, he did more so in the in the receiving game than he did the rushing game. Seven receptions, 78 yards, and one touchdown, receiving touchdown. He led us in, in – he led us in pretty much receptions and receiving guards. I mean, the past game didn't do much. Juju had, like, what, one catch? Yeah, that was One catch of seven it. yards, but, I mean, I'm sure he doesn't really give a shit about statistics, unlike someone that we will not mention. Um, but, yeah, I mean, all. you could just tell the mood is just different, you know. It really um, is, but the thing that I do, that I really want to see is receiver stepping up. Yeah. Because we can't always throw it to the running backs or the tight ends or stuff like that. We need to see our receiving group step up. Whether that's Juju Johnson, hopefully Washington, Washington when, he, when he comes back, he, um, yes, even Dante Malkey, which yes. he, he actually caught a fucking yes. pass today, folks. Yeah, I, like I think I don't know, like I don't know, I don't even know how important this is. Like, this is an important moment in NFL history. I don't know if you guys noticed <laughs> that. It really is. Dante Moncrief caught a fucking football. A diving one. Wow, that just goes to show you how great of a performance this was for the Steelers. Dante Moncrief actually caught a fucking football. I'm not wow. sure if it counted or not because it was a penalty, <laughs> but nonetheless, he caught a damn football. Right. Um, but yes, the receivers need to step up, and I hope that after the bye week we see more of that because they need to step up. Yeah. Especially if Mason is more likely going to be coming back for the Dolphins game if right. he's cleared. Right. But, you know, when the receivers aren't stepping up, the rushing game definitely is, and that's what we saw in this game, and that's exactly what we needed, and that's exactly what we got. Hopefully we continue it throughout the rest of the season. I feel like that's a great driving force for the offense for the rest of the season, man. We we all know how great and how smooth our offense is when we run the ball, and you can just tell the clock manager is much, much better as well. So I think that's the way to go the rest of the season and everything. Use Benny Snell, use Samuels when he comes back. Definitely use Connor. Hopefully Connor continues his rebound, his – his comeback season, his comeback, whatever you want to call it or whatever. So um, it's great to see them both step up in this game for a much-needed win. Um, and Devin Hodges, he didn't do too bad. You know, he didn't do anything fancy. He didn't do anything special. He, had a, he, he wasn't perfect by any means. I yeah. mean, nobody is. But I mean, he had 132 uh, receiving yards with one touchdown, which was to You Connor. said receiving yards, or, passing yards. Yeah, but if he had receiving yards, holy shit. <laughs> I know, uh, right? 132 passing yards, thank you. Uh, plus one pass touchdown, and he did throw an interception, um, which honestly was unnecessary. Yeah, because I, I think I said this in the preview, I can't remember, but I said don't allow Hodges to do any unnecessary throws. Yeah. Which he ended up doing right, and it led to a pick. Because the whole game we were running the ball, and then we... I understand if you want to let him sling it because the game was pretty much over. You let him sling it, see what he can do. But right, and it would be just, nice to see him, you know, do it every once in a while. You can't throw dicks and ducks to the running backs and right. stuff like that all game. And, which is what he was doing all game. You know, he didn't do anything fancy. I didn't expect him to do anything fancy. Um, I'm okay with the dinks and dunks in this game, specifically because he's a third string undrafted quarterback who didn't eat a rookie quarterback at that, who didn't even make the initial 53 man roster. Exactly. So. It's not smart for him to go out and just completely sling it and throw deep balls like he's fucking Ben or Brady or whatever. So this type of plan is smart for him. We did it with Rudolph, and we almost got the win against the Niners. Um, uh, obviously, we didn't. But with Hodges, we did uh, against an inferior team in the Chargers, sure. But still. Uh, now, the thing with Rudolph is that they've kind of continued to do it. Um, I don't agree with that because when, Mudo- when Rudolph starts playing more, I think we need to see a little bit more. Uh, with Rudolph's passing game. Devlin Hodges makes complete sense. He's a backup. He's a third-string undrafted quarterback, so it makes complete sense. With Rudolph, we need to stop with the dinks and dunks and start seeing a little bit more uh, from his passing game. Sure, you know, get those much-needed yards and everything is a great way to uh, to move the chains and use the rushing game to help with that, but still. And the clock, but... But down the stretch, I think we need to see Rudolph... Uh, throw the ball more, but that's after the bye week and everything. But Devin Hodges did what he needed to do. He did his job very nicely, honestly, and uh, helped got us to win his first career win. Sunday Night Football, good shit from Hodges, man. Um, I think we will root off after the bye. I mean, that's what I would do. Uh, Hodges, he's he was he wasn't perfect by any means. He did have a, a few bad throws here and there, like his first pass of the game. He did a du- Juju did a double move. Um, he was wide open. He completely beat his uh his his corner, his man and everything. Hodges completely underthrew it. It, it could have been a touchdown. It should have been a touchdown. But Hodges just underthrew it. Um yes, thank God the, the, I think it was Casey Hayward. Thank God he didn't turn around and pick it off. Right. Because if that happened, that could have been a completely different uh outlook of this game. Right. Uh but nonetheless, overall he did good. He did what he needed to do, and I think he will remain a backup for the rest of the season. Um, unless of course he 
so opens eyes or whatever, but I don't know. Time will tell through the bye. But right. great, overall, great team win, uh, much needed team win, solid team win uh, from the Steelers before the bye and everything. Like we said, this uh, bye couldn't come at a better time with the injuries, uh, not just from today, but obviously what happened in, in the weeks prior. And fix up the minor stuff, uh, adjust your game plan and your schemes and shit, and fix up, you know, just the minor aches and everything that we have on offense and defense and. Uh, Season's not over. Season's very much alive. We're set. We're tied with second place in the AFC North. Uh, very weak division this year, which is kind of surprising, but kind of not. Uh, honestly, uh, I didn't expect shit from the Bengals. I didn't expect shit from the Browns. Uh, and, and the Ravens, I mean... If you ask me, the Ravens are hit and miss. They're right. a good team, but they're hit and miss. Ab- just, I mean, just like us. Absolutely. I have to admit. Absolutely. And, and so, the, the season's very much alive. So, you fix up that shit. You let the injuries heal up and everything. And in the second half, steamroll. Maybe we got a shot. I don't know, man. But yeah, I have faith. I have hope. You know, but ve- we'll see what happens. Yeah, I'm very optimistic about the second half of the season, man. So uh, it's great that we got the bye. Let's relax for the bye. Let's fix everything up and go. hopefully go for a strong run, man. So uh, let's go Steelers. Great fucking win. We have instant 2-4. and four. Got the bye next week. Very much needed. So uh, let us know your guys' thoughts about the game and, and the bye and everything in the comments below. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll be back uh, this week with, obviously, the question and answers and everything. Uh, we'll be doing a bye week Q&A and everything. So uh, if you guys haven't seen that vid, it's obviously on our channel right now. Go ahead and put all your questions in that video if you haven't already uh, for any questions about anything. Um, so uh, other than that, give us your guys' thoughts, and we'll see you guys next one, man. Great one, man. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you later. Peace! Peace.